Hello online pipe community, Ethan, parsimonious piper, and I am here again with Ghost Tom. Boy, some people are just having a slow day today. I'm having an onion moment. Ah, uh, that's what it was. It is Cobb Tuesday. I got my cob. I got my cob. Got our cob Tuesday hats. So my cob is a Missouri Meerschaum Volcano in that nice, rough, naked finish. What do you got? I have the Diamondback, which is the panel pipe with the diamond shank with that really cool acrylic stem to it. I guess it's kind of like a tortoise shell-ish. <clears throat> in it, in them, we are smoking some more of... Ye old tobacco shops, Noble Jones. Now, this is a lightly aromatic crossover type English. Sean, tell me what you're getting out of this. The line of key is there. There's a touch of, of sweetness, but it's spicy. It's got a spice to it to me. Um, <clears throat> there's not enough Virginia in it, like you, we were talking before you clicked and record. There's not enough to get any of the Virginia Honey traditional grass. notes. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's overall, it's a good crossover blend. I mean, if somebody's just trying to get out of aromatics and head to a different direction, this is one blend I would suggest for it. I would agree. Uh, the proprietor there at uh, Ye Old Tobacco Shop, when I talked to him on the phone, said that in no particular order, uh, this has uh, Virginia's uh, Latakia, some fire, uh, fire cured black Cavendish uh, Mexican Burley. Um, so I, I'm not sure which one of those components would uh, lead to the spice flavor that Sean's getting, but it is... Mm -hmm. It is a mild English. It is definitely not heavy on the Latakia front. It is, that is just barely there. Yeah. As is the sweetness. The The black Cavendish that's used, according to the, um, uh, the owner there, the black Cavendish does have a very light vanilla topping. I don't really taste any vanilla in this. Um, there is a very slight sweetness to it. So, yes, it would definitely qualify as an aromatic English or a crossover type English. And I think you're right. I think for anybody who is a an aromatic smoker and who would like to branch out um, and try an English, this would not necessarily be a bad first choice. Um, it's not going to smack you around with a lot of Latakia like a nightcap <clears throat> would. No. And it has just enough sweetness for you to recognize flavor yeah you don't get any spiciness i really don't no huh no Interesting. now what would i rate this uh this is going to be another three out of five on my five star scale it's good and if you offered me some i would not hesitate to smoke it because it is a good blend it's not one however that i would buy again because I want more Latakia. I want, in fact, I, it doesn't have to be a pirate cake to, to satisfy me, but I want to taste the Latakia. I, I want that to be much more prominent than this. How about you? How would you rate it? Two and a half. Yeah. So we're real close together on that one. Now, moving on from tobacco. Yusuf, smoking Syed, is having himself a giveaway. Now, Yusuf, I do not want to be entered into your giveaway because I've got too much crap the way it is, and I'm trying to get rid of some. <clears throat> However, it is a nice giveaway, and other folks may want to, so we are going to promote your giveaway. You asked 
in some form or other what our desert island pipe and blend would be. <clears throat> Sean, what would your desert island pipe be? Oh. This is a Bethlehem olive wood with a shotgun shell and a beautiful purple stem on it. It is a pot shape made for me by Olive Wood Piper. <clears throat> that would certainly be the pipe because they're durable, they smoke well, you can smoke multiple bowls out of them a day and it's not going to even hesitate. Thick walls, so it's not going to get warm on me. I'm good to go. Our choices were similar in some regards there, and that is uh, thick walls, something that would smoke all day. You guys have seen this one before. It is a three-star Pipe by Lee bull cap. It has got very thick walls, big bowl, and it will smoke, uh, smoke anything I throw at it, and it'll smoke it all day without complaint. So next, what's your desert island blend? What could you smoke all day, every day, if it was the only thing that you had available to smoke? Probably Sutliff 515, a Red Virginia. Because of the heat, taking the heat into consideration on an island, which I'm not a beach guy, so that probably won't happen, but... Yeah, they could have dumped you on an island off of Norway. That's true, that's true. But I would say the 515, the Red Virginia, because I really like it. It's a lot like the 5100 that McClellan's used to make. It does have that uh, a tanginess to it. Yeah. It, it has that vinegar type tanginess. Yeah, I really like it. Um, yeah, that that's a really good blending component too. Mm -hmm. for, for those of you who are interested in making your own vapor, that uh, 515 um, from uh, Sutliff is a, a very good blending Red Virginia as well. Well, I have to say, previous answers to this question for me included things like Carter Hall because it's a soft, gentle, all day, every day smoke. My answer has changed because now my answer is simply my favorite blend. And I'll show it to you because we're about to have a bowl of it in a little bit. And that is Brown Irish Twist from Gawith Hogarth. Uh, you say I'm on a desert island. Um, if I'm with somebody, I can smoke that to get some quiet time because nobody's gonna hang around that unless that's also their favorite blend, um, particularly if it's my wife. And if I'm there by myself, then I don't care about the room note because it doesn't help or hurt a social situation. It's just a delicious blend. I love Brown Irish Twist. Good, 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 good stuff. So if you have not already subscribed to Yusuf's channel, please do so. Check him out. His link will be down below. Yusuf, uh, Yusuf is one of the most prolific, if not the most prolific commenter in the entire community. And not only does he comment, he always leaves an encouraging word. Always. There, without fail. Um, so he, he is just one of the most wonderful guys that you will ever get to, to meet, even if only virtually uh, here in the community. Drop by, give him some sub love, um, whether you enter his gar or not. Uh, I think you're going to like him if you haven't already. Well, folks, that is our Cobb Tuesday. And I'll tell you, like something you like. Ha, ah, little sneak. But wait, there's more. Kind of like Steve Jobs. Until we can get together, pack a pipe. Oh no, there's even or more than that. smoke that great cigar. Let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless. There's even more than that. See, this is a sneak attack. I wanted to see who actually waited till the end of the video. If you would like the rest of this Noble Jones, if you're an aromatic smoker, and the old Savannah aromatic that I smoked last week.
comment. Let me know. Be the first one, and it's all yours. And with that, we really are done. Y'all have fun.